Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISE 2016, first day of the show, and I'm joined by Rick Ke with Rick Kennedy here at the Nareva booth. Obviously, Rick is one of the directors of Nareva. Uh, first of all, welcome to the EMEA. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it. This is your official launch of uh, SPAN EMEA. into the, yeah, in the e EMEA, and I want you to demonstrate what SPAN is. First, tell a little bit about the background and what, where it came from, and then demo it. So we designed the system to take advantage of what people are already doing in an analog fashion. People are working with sticky notes and, and uh, images and various other types of artifacts. And it's a tried and true process. We didn't want to change that. We wanted to enhance it by turning that into a digital environment, which of course allows you to do all kinds of additional things with it, uh, like work remotely, for example, uh, or, or have lots of uh, space that can be reused for other purposes. So. Right, and so what you do is you have a touch enabled projection technology and you, you can put either one or two projectors in, is what I understand, create a 10 foot wide or a 20 foot wide digital canvas that is behind the scenes like 40 foot wide, right? That's right, and in fact you could actually go beyond that. We can go beyond the uh, 20 feet to 30 feet. Okay. So, and we could in fact wrap a room as well. So in other words, I can, I can move this entire canvas, but I could actually have it wrapped in a room so all of the content would be very close to me. So there's various different ways of using it. And, and so how is content placed on the system? So uh, typically uh, content is created from personal devices, so whether it's a laptop, uh, a tablet, p tablet or uh, a smartphone, uh, to be able to move content from lots of people very quickly. And that the whole creative and ideation process uses that kind of methodology where lots of people are creating new ideas we're putting them up on the canvas, and then we're organi organizing them once they get to the canvas. So people, if, if you're coll collaborating, you're all in the same room, that's simple because now we can all collaborate and throw our stuff up whenever we want. But what if I'm in a far site location or I'm on just a conference call location? Can I see the same thing at the far site? So there's two ways of doing that. One is you could be on your personal device, so you could be at an airport, in fact, and be an active contributor. You can also see the entire canvas, so you can see everything that's going on, but you can be a contributor as well. But in addition, if I replicate this environment in another a second city, I can have two teams actually working together, so group-to-group -group collaboration. So if I put the exact same system in New York and L.A. or at London and L.A., I'm, they're seeing, both locations are seeing the exact same stuff in real time. That's, that's exactly right. Yep. So it's all cloud-based, basically it's going across the, the internet. Well, and, and the advantage of cloud, of course, is also that you can access it 24-7, so it's available anytime, anywhere. You log in on your personal device or on the wall, and you have access to all of your content and all of your projects. All right, so can you show me how easy this is to use, just some touching and some playing? Sh sure, so, so what I can do, first of all, I can move it around, I can take a group, move the group. Uh, I can add uh, new artifacts. If I wanted to add a new note, I can just simply drag it into place. If I wanted to edit that, I can edit it. You can see I can type in. Um, I can actually change color if I want to change the meaning. So again, it's very intuitive. It's, it's designed so that people are already familiar with how to do this, so there's not a, not a major learning. All you've done is take what people are familiar with doing in an analog world and, and uh, put it on digital canvas. And actually, with, with um, you know, companies like Smart Technologies, the interface is similar to what they're familiar with using in a product like that, and you've taken it and made it uh, in a different, uh, you know, more of a brainstorming application problem. Yeah, and, and what we've seen with customers is they adopt this very quickly because they understand exactly what to do with it. There's no, there's no mysteries, and there's a, there's a, a very short learning curve. curve. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, the learning curve is very short. And, and can I also put photos on here and collaborate with it? As you can see, there's a number of different images here, and I can put in photos. And I can also, if I wanted to, I can, I can double click on a photo, and actually, I can, uh, I can do some editing. So I can bring in PowerPoint slides or other types of images, maps. Uh, anything like that, and I can easily mark it up. So I can actually use this to tell a story, to create uh, uh, customer journeys, that type of uh, work. So uh, it, it's very flexible to be designed based on how organizations work. Organizations don't have to change their workflows and processes. So I, want, I wanted to, uh, Claudia to shoot this whole wall here, and I want you to see how you're, uh, you're able to have all different kinds of content on here. It's not just sticky notes, but you've also got vi you've also got a uh, uh, video, you've got photos, and you've got um, notepad looking uh, annotate uh, where you can annotate on it. So basically, any kind of content that you have on your personal device can be put up on this wall. That's right. And when when you're working when you're doing this type of work, you want to be able to bring uh, context into uh, the discussion. So if you have an idea, it may be helpful to have a sketch or or, uh, or images that actually can help you uh, express those ideas more clearly. And so uh, again. Uh, Two or one, two or three projection system. It sounds like now. Originally, uh, uh, 
when you first launched, I believe it was just one or two projection system, but I heard you sort of allude to, you could do a 30 foot one, so I assume that's a three projection system? That, that's right, it is. And in fact, we could go beyond that. We have a configuration which will allow up to eight. Now, obviously if you have eight, you need a lot of physical real estate yeah. to handle that. But. Yeah, like you said, wrap the entire room. And these are uh, 16 by six aspect ratio projectors, um, and it creates a touch surface on anything it's projecting on. That's right. So we have these projected on a drywall, and we have a specialized surface, our Wisp Protect surface that we have here, uh, which creates a much better experience, but it can literally go on any surface. Well, thank you very much for the time this morning, and I wish you the best of luck entering the European market, but I don't think you're going to have any problems. I suspect you're going to have people lined up wanting to uh, sell the product. Thanks, Gary. really appreciate it. So this is uh, Gary Kay. We're here at day one at ISC, and I hope you enjoyed this little demo. And, of course, uh, we're get, we've got a lot more to cover. We've got three and a half more days to go. Um, I also did an, a one-on-one -on -one interview this morning with the founder of uh, Nareva, uh, Nancy Knowlton. So if you want to take a look at that, just uh, type uh, Nareva in the upper, right, uh, upper left-hand corner of the screen. Or, of course, to find out more information on SPAN, all you got to do is go to Nareva.com.